everybody. Welcome to Monday Mystery Stamping. I can hardly believe it's February 21st already. Man, where did the month go? So, um, I'm Verna Mullen from StampinNotes.com and I live in western New York State, rural part of the state, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I love to teach paper crafting and card making. And tonight is Mystery Stamping. So if you've never done mystery stamping before, um, I'll tell you a little bit about it. I post the measurements for you to pre-cut your cardstock and your, or your designer series paper to get that all ready to go. And um, I send it by email, um, usually on Saturday late in the day. And I try to remember to post it on my Facebook page at Stampin' Notes. Sometimes I do forget. But... <laughs> Um, I did remember to do that today, and um, so then we make a card together, and tonight's going to be a fun one. It's um, a card sketch that you can do several different ways to get a different look with the cards that you're making, and so I'm going to um, point the phone down, and we'll get started with that. Let me know if you're he, um, if you're here. Hi, Margaret, and um, hi, Lo Lucy. Um, if you comment and share, I will put you in a drawing for uh, some little goodie, and that will be announced next week. So, okay, I'm gonna put the phone down now. So, look at the Well, I turn it around. Wasn't it gorgeous? It was just so beautiful out. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see, we need to get this in the center a little bit. I'm just bringing my computer up. Hey, Mom. Let's see. Okay. And... We'll mute that so we don't hear me echoing twice. This is a host code to use for February, so it's good for like another week. Um, if you want to order from my online store, if you place a $50 order, you will receive the 2021-2023 in color gems. They are really, really pretty. And that is with a $50 order. Um, I know, 55 degrees. That is just awesome. So don't forget, we only have like one more week of celebration of free items that you can get. Um, I'm using one of those tonight, the sentiments, uh, the special moments sentiment set. I just love all kinds of sentiments for different occasions. Does anybody else on here have this? Um, I just love it. There's sympathy and birthday, thinking of you. Um, there's even one that says, hey, boo. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Um, so that's a great one to get. And this is another one, uh, Catching Butterflies. I actually have not done much with this one yet. I want to, though. I love that. Here's another one that's free with a $50 order driving by. And then I'm using the beautiful designer series paper that is Daffodil Afternoon, Daffodil Delight. Let me see what it is for sure. It is Daffodil Afternoon. I do not have the Daffodil stamp set. Does anyone on here tonight have that? Um, it's this gorgeous paper here. And lots of different... Um, prints in this. Sorry, I just whacked the phone. Um, there's this one. I love this. You can do so much with this, but you can do a lot with just um, designer series paper. Oh, Margaret, you should post your cards with the catching butterflies. We'd love to see that. Um, yeah, I, I uh, don't have the stamp set, but I do love this paper, and I am going to use that tonight. So what I liked about this card sketch is the different ways you can use it, and I'll 
start with, um, I'm going to start mine with a horizontal. You can do vertical. And you've got an eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. Mine happens to be pale papaya. And you can um, score that or uh, burnish that. Lucy, you have the paper too? Yeah. All right. And so then you have a piece of designer series paper. Uh, the larger piece is five and a half by three. And I'm using this print from the Daffodil Delight Afternoon Designer Series paper. And Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. I love this. I've used it with the Ladybug um, too, and I really like that. So... And then you also have a piece of cardstock that's two and a half by two and a half, and designer series paper or cardstock that is, I think this is two by two. And then a little bit of for a sentiment that's one by three, and I'm using very vanilla because there's very vanilla in this paper. So the first thing you can do, um, you can do your card this way or this way, and I'm doing mine horizontally. And I want um, some ribbon around mine. You could put it up here. You could put it down here. Um, you can put it wherever you would like. So it'll be fun to see how you do your cards. And I'm using the Pale Papaya ribbon. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna do a bow with a long tail and try wrapping it that way. We'll see if that works very well or not. This is the open weave, uh, one of the ink, the pale papaya, and that's all the, the in colors from last year have an open weave ribbon, and I love it, it's so easy to work with. All right, so, I'm going to um, trim this tail right here. I want this on this end of my DSP. So I'm going to just take this and fold it under like that. I'm actually just going to tape that in place. And you guys, if you want a ribbon, go ahead and do your ribbon around your front. Maybe you don't want a ribbon. I didn't do a ribbon on all of mine. I know, Lucy, if you've done any cards with the paper, I'd love to see them. All right, so I've got that bow on there, and um, I'm going to go ahead and put my adhesive on the back of this DSP. Did anyone do um, embossed cardstock? I I did not get that done. I was going to, and then I got playing with all the designer series paper. And I'm using the Seal Plus. Okay, and I think I want this uh, across the middle. Move this over. That looks pretty good, I think. Actually, it's not centered on the bottom here. Got to straighten it a little bit. And I'm just going to take a glue dot and anchor this bow down, put it underneath the knot there. Just like that. All 
Okay, so um, now you have a piece of cardstock that is two by two. And you can put this, this is to hold your, or to be part of the sentiment. So you could center it here, you could put it this way, you could put it point on the point like this, and I think that's how I will put mine on, like that. Um, and then you have a piece of plain cardstock or, or not cardstock, designer series paper or, um, Yes, you have a plain piece of cardstock or designer series paper. And this is uh, the another pattern in that pack. And I'm gonna put mine on here like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the adhesive on this. I love this paper, so pretty. I'm gonna center it. Hopefully. Oops. Okay, so that's centered on there. So I could go this way with it. I could go this way, I could move it down here. I think I want it in the center, like that. And then I am not gonna use dimensionals on this, but I am gonna use it on the little tag. So again, I'm bringing in my seal plus. And I want it to be on point as if, as if I was quilting, it's a quilting term. Okay. And I want, okay, so that's about right like that. Now, um, I am gonna bring in the a sentiment from the special moment stamp set. It's just a thinking of you. And I'm going to use the black memento ink. Tap, tap, tap. And this piece of cardstock is about one by three. You might wanna cut it down a little bit if you want it a little thinner. So there's my sentiment. Pretty fat. All right, so let's bring the front back in here. And this is gonna go across there like that. And I think I'm going to cut, um, make some little tails on this. So I'm cutting up the center and then from each corner to that uh, center peak where my cut is, has gone the farthest. Okay. I've got that little yucky thing in the middle there and I don't want that there, okay. 
And I'm going to put this on like this. I'm going to bring in um, dimensionals. I'm seeing a robin in my bird feeder. Maybe I told you ladies that, which happies my heart. I saw it at the end of last week, actually. And then we've been watching uh, my son's dog. Well, they've been on vacation. He's been really good. He's a Habapoo. He's all white. All right, so this says, thinking of you, and I wanna center it on that square. It looks about right. And it needs a little something. I think I'm going to punch out a daisy and put over here. Oh, let's do pale papaya. Daisy punch, and I'm using the medium daisy punch. So it's not the great big huge one, it's a little bit smaller. Hey, Teresa. Oh, you got a new calf? Is it a bull or a heifer? Our beefers will start calving. I think the end of March. And I'm just taking this little daisy and um, flicking the ends of it to turn the petals up a little bit. And I've got three layers going. Oh, a heifer, aw. There's nothing like new life on the farm. All right, so I've got um, two layers here. Now this layer I'm gonna turn upside down and it'll give it a little dimension. All right, and why don't we put, nope, I think it needs to go on this end here. And I'm gonna use one of these gilded, I think these are the gilded gems. They're pretty big, whoops. We'll put one in the center. I know, don't you just love the calves? I love to see them run and jump and play. One of my granddaughters this summer, um, we well, they had some calves that they were really friendly because they had spent a lot of time with them and she painted the calves' hooves, bright pink and purple polish. Boy, was it funny. I should post that picture so you guys could see it. It was a riot. Okay, so we've got this much done, and I'm gonna put some butterflies on here. These are the beautiful 
crushed brass butterflies. I love these. They are so easy to work with and so pretty. Pretty, pretty. Um, I think I want this one up here. All right, so there's that card. Now, I did another card and I cut this down, this large cardstock square to um, one and three quarters by one and three, no, this was two and a half by two and a half, two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And let me show you that one. This one is with mint macaron and it uses a different pattern does have a daisy, um, and I cut this down so it wasn't quite as large. I, I like it that way. Uh, no strip across here. The sentiment is directly on the DSP. And then I'll show you a couple of cards I did uh, vertically. There's this one here um, with... Uh, large piece of that has all the daffodils on it and this just says hello sunshine with the bumblebee gingham ribbon um, i like how this one turned out now well, this one is probably my favorite um this one i've turned the square so it's on point and i just took um some very vanilla and I cut it with a border die, the one that's the jagged border die. And then the sentiment is on the one by three inch strip across the squares, and it's cut at a slant. So I hope you guys liked this um, card sketch, and I'll be anxious to see what you do. Please share and um, with us your cards. And we'll be back next week. And I will be on Wednesday, too, with um, Farm Fresh Cards. We'll have something uh, fun for that. So take care, and I hope you have a great evening. Thank you, Teresa.